What's up, fire family? What's up, fire fam? Happy Friday. Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a collective reading. I do apologize, y'all. I know I said I was going to um, post a few readings this week. This is the first time I've been free <laughs> all week, y'all, besides like drop ship and doing rituals. Well, not the rituals, the ritual reports. So all the rituals are done. I'm just doing the reports now. Um, I'm catching up on the personal readings and the drop ship. So, yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. That's why I couldn't come through with a message um, as promised. But I am here now to do a collective reading. And then um, we're going to be right back on track next week. Yes, y'all. Today is August 9th. Y'all, my birthday is on Wednesday, 814. Where are my birthday twins? Comment below. All right. And happy Leo season. It is our season, y'all. So, yay. Yes. I am doing a birthday raffle, y'all. Um, I will put the information in the description box below. Also, I will pin it in the comments. But it's $5 to enter. And I'm going to pick two winners for a chance to win free readings for the rest of the year. So, it will be from September through December. Um, you guys will be able to pick a free reading of your choice. Um, it does exclude like the year-round reading, but any other reading y'all can choose. Um, I do it every year, and y'all tend to love it, and that's also my way of giving back as well. Um, so, yes, definitely check it out if that is something that you guys are interested in. And then a couple of y'all were asking me about um, going live. So, I will be going live. I need to see, like, like I said, when I'm free. Um... I don't know. I need, I need to get with Divine and see what she's talking about. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Or I'm, a, I'm, I'm thinking like a Monday night or something. Sunday, Monday night. I'll be able to go live with y'all. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. If you guys got your um, email or text message for shipping, remember I told you guys allowed three to five days from the date that y'all receive it for y'all stuff to go out because the... Um, like the orders are long. Like, hold on, y'all. Give me one second. I'm about to show you something. Watch. And don't laugh at my socks. <laughs> oh, shoot. So, like, this is like just one batch of the drop ship, right? You see this? This is like this one batch that I did, like, last night. This is like 40-something orders. But look how long the thing is. This one is like seven, seven pages long. So, because I have the sale. So, you guys got to think, like, this order right here. I think had like 50 items and stuff like that. So it's not just about the order. So it's like everybody that ordered, y'all ordered like multiple things. Okay. Like the shortest ones I have are like these ones. Right. But they go all the way to like six, seven pages long. So I, that's why I said I can only do so many at a time. So I'm doing them 40 at a time. And then on top of the 40, it depends on how much, how much is in the orders. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm working on right now, y'all. So, um, that's why I said after you guys get your, um, your notification, just still allow like three days for it to go out. Um, because I have to, in order for me to print the labels, I have to process the order. Okay. So let's see, let's see what's going on y'all. Let's see what's going on. Let's pull a guardian angel message before we hop in. Universe and spirit, what message do you have for the collective that they need to know in here at this time? What do your guardian angels want you to know? All right, so we have guardian of emotion, okay? So it says, this situation requires emotional maturity and total trust. You are surrounded by those who have only the best of intentions. So you can rely on the advice you are given. Challenges will be resolved. This card also indicates a generous and refined person whom you can completely depend on. This could be a reference to those characteristics within yourself. So it can be that somebody is coming into your life that's going to be like a really, a really good person, very loving, very genuine Um and this person is very mature, especially on an emotional level. Or this person will help you guys um, mature emotionally. Or this is going to be somebody that gets you, that just understands where you're coming from emotionally. So it could be somebody that's just maybe going through the same things as you. Um, 
but if not it's like they have your best intentions meaning like they're a good person they're coming in with good intentions this person is genuine if you guys are facing any challenges this person will be there to help you guys resolve them or they'll be around during like challenging times to help you guys shift into you know a more positive place or space especially emotion emotionally okay um and you can depend or rely on this person so that's what i love about that all right, let's get one more message from your guardian angels. Let's see what additional message do you have for the collective? All right, so we got celebration and we got five of emotion. So some of you guys can be kind of sad about something with the five of emotion. Uh, maybe dealing with a loss. Oh, shoot. Wow, look, I didn't even think that the, I wasn't even looking for that, but we're going to take that. These are Tom Oracles. And it says, Tom will bring a surprise, number 32. And that talks about um not talks about this goes in with the five of emotion because this is like this breaks down the five it's the right time to take action so for some of y'all it's time for y'all to take action like i said i wasn't even trying to look at those i was just trying to move them out the way so let's see celebration this is a wonderful time in your life difficulties fall away and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon the timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully so i love this so y'all are going to be around somebody that's very loving and supportive but then also i see you guys celebrating and having a good time and really like enjoying yourselves so this looks really good i really do love this for you guys you guys will be celebrating something soon it could be your birthday it is leo season <laughs> okay because i will be celebrating too let me do something I don't know just yet what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something, y'all. I'm going to try to do something, a little something, something. And then we have five of emotion. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels are those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can stay, so that you can get back on the path to joy. So forgiveness is very important at this time. Um, forgiveness will help you guys heal. So you guys are needing to forgive someone in order to heal or so that you guys can heal or be on your healing journey or continue on your healing journey. It's time for you guys to let go of the past. Maybe you made some type of mistake or maybe somebody in the past made some type of mistake or you guys could just be grieving, you know, a lot the loss of somebody. Um, and it says, ask your angels are those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can get back on the path of joy. So you can call on your angels or whoever this genuine person is with the guardian of emotion. This person can definitely help you, okay? Um, if not, like I said, call on your guardian angels, your ancestors, spirit, whoever you guys believe in spiritually, okay? And it says this time will bring a surprise and we got the celebration. So I do see some type of surprise or some type of celebration coming in for you guys and that's gonna be really good, okay? Something that is like definitely wish fulfillment, with that um, guardian of emotion, something that's just gonna have you guys really happy. This can be material happiness. This can just be something that's gonna just, it's gonna change your mood, it's gonna change everything. You know, this is something that's gonna make you really happy. It says, open your heart and healer of thoughts. So think about the things that you guys are saying. Think, be, act, and speak positive at this time. Okay? So let's see. Sorry, y'all. I'm here. I'm just trying to focus and shuffle. All right. So let's see. What is the energy coming towards the collective? What is the current energy coming towards the collective? 
What is the current energy coming towards the collective? Okay. Cards flew out. Oh, damn, this is a lot of cards. And I don't even know if these are in the upright or in reverse, because all of these are in reverse. Let me look at the deck. I feel like those would have been in the upright. Yeah, it feels like those would have been in the upright. I don't know. We're going to just put it like this, y'all. And reshuffle. I'm sorry. All right. What is the energy coming towards the collective? Energy coming towards the collective. What is the energy coming towards the collective? What is the energy coming towards the collective? What is the energy coming towards the collective? The Queen of Cups in reverse. Hmm. So we do have the Guardian of Emotion. We do have the Five of Emotions. Some of you guys can be kind of sad right now in your feelings about something. Or somebody around you guys can be in their feelings about something or in regards to something. Usually the Queen of Cups in reverse, like she's, like she's sad. You know, she's very emotional. Or she's in her feelings about something. Or she's emotionally overwhelmed. Hmm. Sorry if y'all hear that. That's the that's the refrigerator. I think it's like making ice or something like that. Let me see. We got the nine of swords reverse. Somebody is ignoring how somebody is feeling right now. Because, like, the nine of swords being versus somebody not stressing or sweating it, you know, they're not losing sleep over how somebody is feeling. Hmm. Ten of pentacles are reverse. This could be family. This could be a friend. This could be somebody that was really close to you. With the ten of pentacles, this could be a relationship. Let's see. What is this about? Queen of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. You know, yeah, because this is like somebody not losing sleep. But it's like you guys are either in your feelings about something or somebody else is in their feelings about something. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse will be like an upside down relationship. Something that's not grounded. Something that's not stable. A situation that somebody wants but doesn't really want. So I don't feel like that's with you. I feel like that can be another relationship. Or there's somebody that is like that wants that they're y'all are together. But the relationship is this rocky, is this unstable, right? Um, let's see. Sorry, y'all didn't mean to yawn like that. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So we have released your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. See, somebody needs to release somebody. Somebody hasn't released somebody yet. But the crazy thing is, like I said, like somebody hasn't released somebody. Or you can be the ex, but what's it up in the cups? Because I feel like if they're not losing sleep, then why should you? Because I just feel like somebody is shady, like you know, like somebody is like really not considering somebody's feelings right now. See, attraction, somebody that is attracted to you that where you're attracted to them. Okay, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So this is letting me know like you're really into somebody. Like you, y'all are attracted to each other. Y'all are into somebody. Somebody is needing to release somebody that they have not released yet. And they're not losing sleep over the fact that they didn't end this situation. But this situation has you and your feelings. And you're just like, well, damn, like, 
you know, like you got me all wrapped up in you emotionally. You got me feeling you and digging you and you're not doing nothing, but you are telling me that you're going to release this person. Like the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it can also be that this relationship is pretty much over with, but they still like live together, deal with each other. This person also has you thinking that it's safe for you to love them. You know, so this can be somebody that you definitely open your heart to and they have you feeling like, okay, it's safer than to love you. Um, or it's safe for you to love them. I'm sorry. And let me see what's under that. You deserve love. You are lovable and very soon. So that would make sense. Soulmate, yes. Because this person is having you feel feel as if like, okay, it's safe for you to love them. And they got you feeling like, oh, like, you know, I'm your safe space, your safe place. We're going to be together. Um, I'm going to leave them or it's all about us. But if this is not another person, which this is, but for some of you guys, it may not be a person. They could have already released their ex but they're just not committing to you. And it also could be because of the fact that they just got out of a relationship and they're, like I said, again, not losing sleep. So why should you? So they're just like, they're not really stressing over it. To them, it's not really a big deal, right? We got, you deserve love. There goes the Cupid's arrow. You are lovable. And then we got very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So that can be where you're telling this person, like, look, do you really want me? Like, tell me what you want. Like, like, is this a game or like, do we have something? Like, what is this? So I feel like y'all are really trying to figure out what's going on with y'all. We got very soon. We got soulmate. Give this relationship a chance. And then we got trust. So there could be some trust issues, even though this person wants you to allow the situation to unfold. This person wants you to trust them. This person wants you to trust that whatever y'all got going on is going to be deeper than that. Okay. That it's going to be more to that. So they, they have you guys thinking and feeling like, okay, like we got a situation here. Um, let's pull from this deck. dragging see look this is their energy towards you they're dragging the situation they're dragging things out so it says yeah i'll call you i can always count on you to give me attention when i need it i really don't want to be with you but i like flirting with you so i don't see where they don't want to be with you guys but maybe it gets off that vibe like oh so you really just don't want to be with me because you're playing games or whatever and then it says hit it says hit him with a good morning good night text that should be enough and don't expect me to follow through with our plans so yeah somebody's on some bullshit and not following through with the plans so yeah and again that's why they're not losing sleep and that's just fake as hell are they not offering any type of commitment they don't want to have a title they don't want to be in a relationship right now Let's see, about to reach out. So unblock me and please answer even if you don't recognize the number. So somebody is gonna reach out to you guys. You can have this person blocked. And if you do have them blocked, they're gonna reach out to you um, from another number. And then we have, I'm giving my dreams are coming true vibes. This happiness is because I'm single. So that's what I'm saying. Like y'all are single and waiting for this person. And I feel like when this person comes in, they get you guys excited. You know, you're like, oh, this is my dream come true. Like, it, we're about to be together. Some of you guys, you guys could have released the ex and got with somebody else. And now the ex is reaching back out to you and you're torn and you don't know what to do because you really wanted to be with the ex, but now you got with somebody else. You know, and this new person ain't no better or this new person is acting funny and doing the things that they're doing. And you guys could have been like, dang, I thought this was my dream come true. It could be that as well. Um...
Let's see. We got flatlining. So we aren't what we used to be. The connection is fading away. Who's going to make the first move? So for some of you guys, this relationship, sorry, could be flatlining. And the fact that they're reaching out to you, it might get you excited because you haven't heard from this person in a long time. So you might get excited like, dang, they finally are reaching out. And we have no more second chances. Third, fourth, or fifth. It's over. I had enough. Okay. So it says moving on. And then we got divorce at the bottom. Somebody could be going through a divorce. Somebody could definitely just be moving on. But this can also be somebody that is coming back in and you're getting excited and you see how they're acting. And you're just like, you know what? Like, why am I giving you chance after chance? You're just like, why am I sitting in my feelings over you? Like, why am I sitting over here worried about you and what you're going to do and when you're going to reach out? Some of you guys could be feeling like that. Like, you know what? Like, mm, maybe it's just time for me to just let this go. That could be it too. Um... Especially with that dragon card and how their attitude is. That's like kind of shady. That's messed up. So, yeah. That's not cool. Not cool at all. So, let's see. Let's go into this Queen of Cups reverse. For the collective, why is the Queen of Cups reverse for the collective? Why is the Queen of Cups reverse for the collective? Five of Wands, this is tension, conflict. Yeah, you in inner conflict. You very emotional about something. There's multiple things going on. This can also be you feeling blocked emotionally, not knowing what to do about the situation. The King of Wands, whoever the person is that you're dealing with, this is the person that's on your mind. And it just may be hard to get this person off your mind because whoever this is, you're thinking about them. And that's what has you blocked or confused. You just keep thinking about them and you're like, damn, what should I do about this situation? You know, it's like you're just in a situation where you're like, damn, I hate the way this person is making me feel. Like, you're like, this is this is not fair. Like, because somebody definitely has you in your feelings right now. So you're just like, damn, like, why me? Why do I got to feel like this? Why do I got to go through this? You know, so that can be it too um, for some of y'all. But whoever is on your mind is King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Because um, we got the Five of Wands and the King of Wands, double fire energy, right? Um, this is the person that has you in your feelings or has you emotional. And, like, this is somebody that is around and they know how you feel, but they're really not taking action or doing nothing about it. Because the Five of Wands, I mean, the King of Wands is somebody that is all, all about action and stuff, yes. But the Five of Wands is there. So it's like they will take action or say something, but then they're like... They already feel like it's already complicated or difficult. Then they feel like if they say something, it might make it worse. It's not going to make it better. You feel the way you feel. So that's why I was saying that, like, this person is just, like, they know that you're holding on. And this person is holding back. It's like you're holding on. This person is holding back. But it's like they keep coming in, getting you guys excited. Page of Wands is, like, them coming in with good news. This is excitement, getting you all excited and stuff. Only for things to not really progress and still be where they are. The Four of Pentacles. This is someone still holding on tight to something. So whether you're holding on to them, they're holding on to you. Or they're holding on to the other situation. Or just holding on to the fact that, like, okay, I don't want to move forward with you. Or whatever it is they're doing, they're still not doing what they need to be doing in order for y'all to be moving forward. They're not... And this can be somebody that's younger than you. Maybe you're younger than them. This can be a younger fire sign. Maybe you're a younger fire sign. The Eight of Cups. Walking away. See, Six of Cups. And they could be holding on to a situation because of children. But if not, they feel like there is some type of soulmate connection. And so they'll come back into your life. They can be like an energy vampire. You know, or they'll get all your attention. Suck up all your energy. Give you a good time. And then they'll walk away from the situation. Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse? See, the Eight of Swords, somebody that got you in your head. But like I said, they're not in their head about the situation. They're, like I said, like they're not, yeah, you're guarded. This is somebody that got you upset. You know, they know that you're mad. Five of Pentacles, somebody that got, you know, this is somebody that has you um, feeling left out in the cold. You're like, dang, I've been there for you. I've had your back. I've been supportive. And this is how you do me. This is how you make me feel. But this is also somebody for some of you guys. When you guys could have met this person when they were down and out or at their lowest. And you guys helped this person through a situation or helped them some way in their life. All right? Um, Ten of Swords. Yeah. It's aggravating. It's annoying, actually. Nine of Pentacles. 
they're all about money and moving forward and doing things or trying to make some money or get some money. Um, they keep telling that they're going to become single very soon. Let me see. We got the lovers. This person is obsessed with you. And whoever this is, they love like giving y'all head and stuff because you see all his head is like right there. And then it's just like, so this person loves definitely being sexual with you with a fortune. I feel like this person does really want to move forward with you guys deep down inside, but they're just not doing what they need to do to move this forward. And I honestly feel like they could have been with this relationship forward. They're, they're showing up as a king of wands. They're playing games. I'll tell you all that. Because the king of wands is going to take action. The king of wands is somebody that looks out into the world. This is somebody that knows what they want. They go after it. The king of wands doesn't stop till they get what they want. And that can be a good thing and a bad thing too with some of the cards around because sometimes the king of wands will be somebody that chases you right they chase you they chase you down they'll do whatever they got to do to get you get your attention and then once they get that then it's like i wouldn't say they'll ignore you but they're not going to put in the same energy time or effort because to them they had to chase you right or this could be somebody that you just didn't want to give the time of the day and then you finally give them the time of the day and then now they're acting funny you know what i'm saying so let's go into this king of wands really quick one more time and then i'm gonna pull some love cards and then we might end it with a spirit message today let's see the king of wands here six of pentacles giving it to multiples yep see look hmm. this is somebody too that's like i said somebody is trying to come back it's for some of you guys there was a situation that just didn't work out between them and the ex and they finally released them but they're, it's like they're not like committing to you but then they weren't committing to you sorry y'all could have got with somebody else or y'all just weren't talking to each other and then they came back around but it's like even though they're back around they're just not taking action they're not things are moving very slow temperance could be telling me that things are working behind the scene and you know eventually you know they'll take action but at the same time like i said if this is somebody that wanted you they would have been took action they would have been do what they had to do and i'm not saying they don't want you but the king of wands usually is about his business and he's gonna move forward with his plans and what he wants but yeah see judgment this is somebody that asked for a second chance justice here look to a cups this is somebody that knows you are a soulmate they know y'all have a deeper connection they know that there is a connection here but they're not taking action and I, like i said that's weird as the king of wands king of wands one more time look six of pentacles same energy again they were giving it to another situation they turned that back on that situation to come towards you for some of y'all and then the page of wands again exciting news communication we got the queen of wands that will be you y'all that's the match they know what you want queen of Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles, is some type of commitment, but then we got the death card. When y'all talk about commitment or moving forward or just this going towards a commitment, things die out, they walk away. It's just like everything changes here with this death card here. And then for some of you guys, y'all have been knowing this person for years or for a few years, and it just, it's not moving forward, but they expect you to be around or be around for them, you know, when they come back. Why is the death card here? page of swords yeah see they feel like when they reach out that you if anything was dead between y'all if y'all weren't talking they just feel like if they reach out to you y'all should be y'all should get hype and excited and jump out your chair and flip off the couch for their ass and that's not the no yeah see the magician they do kind of feel like they got a little bit of control but then it's like even though the situation makes you happy it stresses you out at the same time very very complicated situation honestly like this is very very complicated in how they're moving yeah, it's very complicated. So, let's see. Alright. Oh, let's do the um love oracle first, then the spirit message. Sorry, y'all. Baiting, in it to win, seducing, using your weaknesses. So this person knows your weaknesses, whoever this person is. They know your weaknesses. We have faded love, life partner, soulmate. This will, this love will help you grow. Instant, deep connection. See, that's what I'm saying. They know 
that there's a connection here. We got soulmate energy all around this. They know what you are, who you are to them. They know how you make them feel, but they're just not taking action. But back and forth. On and off relationship, back and forth between partners can't make a decision. So they can be back and forth between you and somebody else. They can't seem to make a decision. That sucks. And then we have the mind leads, not following their heart, being logical in love, living inside their head. So this is somebody that lives inside their head and they're not following their heart. So they keep making head over heart decisions. Or they're making a head over heart decision when it comes to you. Because they're not allowing the heart to lead. They're letting their mind keep them restricted. All right, let's see. Messages for the collective. Give me a spirit message. So we have make the sacrifice. Let's see. Make the sacrifice. Okay. So it says, you will not achieve the outcome you desire if you are unwilling to act upon your intentions. It is not as simple as wanting something to happen or believing that it will happen. You have to make it happen and to make it happen requires that you be willing and ready to do whatever is necessary and no matter the sacrifice for everything you desire you must give of yourself in return so y'all may have to make some type of sacrifice in order to receive something okay alrighty y'all so that is what I have for y'all that is y'all reading again I'm gonna try to um post a couple more this weekend if I don't then next week we on and popping y'all I'm gonna get some zodiac readings out and stuff I'm still waiting I still gotta order a table and stuff but I'll probably be in here until I do or until I get myself a little bit more situated, y'all. So this is where we're going to be at for the time being. Alrighty. All right, y'all. I love you, Fire Fam. That is your reading. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Oh, yeah, y'all. Um, For those of y'all that were asking, I know I needed to post a flyer. And um, I forgot. I need to get on. I need to just get online and do it. Because my friend, remember I was telling you guys, my friend is having a vending event. Um, it's in spring. It says Kids Summer Festival. So it says live music, local vendors with, with all kinds of goodies for kids and adults, food truck, bounce house, and more. And it's on 4010 FM 2920 Spring. It's, um, I mean, I guess that's the address. I've, I've been in Texas all these years, never been to spring, but it's, uh, 4010 FM 2920 spring, Texas. And it's tomorrow from noon to 5 PM. So I will be vending there. Um, she created a fire, but there was some errors on the fire. So that's why I was like telling you guys like on my phone. So I don't know if they're going to update the fire or not. That's why I didn't post it, or I could probably make my own flyer, or y'all can just look at it, or whatever. You know? So, um, yeah. So, yeah. I love you guys. Stay dope. Um, personal readings are back open. The store is back open. Everything is back open. Um, so, yeah, y'all. I love y'all. Happy Friday. Bye.